SCP-2. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> I'm getting cancelled be because I tried to explain that the child's being dumb. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna become like a hypothetical. This is all fake, though. I was just a hypothetical on how it's Wait. something like this actually existed. Hold on. Momo has some things to say. Uh, Hatch, go to G degenerate jail in the cell with the dragon child. Both of you. <laughs> yep. Also, Hatchet, you tried to do this for a matter. If you want to call the child out for doing that again, just say they were being ableist. <laughs> ableist. Yep. That's it. True. Yep. Look, That's I'm it. trying to. Look, look here. Look, listen. I'm trying. I'm just trying to play some Minecraft and mock a child. Okay. Is that so bad. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Let's get, let's continue on. No, I wanna. I wanna keep digging my own grave. No, fuck you. We're going on. <laughs> It's my stream. Fuck you. Anyway. Fuck you. This is my stream now. Welcome, welcome to Hatchet Head 33's Twitch channel. Actually, no. I feel like even if like there was, a, I feel like. Are we ever gonna get to the next SCP? No, because I still want to know. Okay, so no. it's not okay to sacrifice blind people, which is I feel like that's a given thing for all things because that's fucked uh -huh. up. How would you actually be able to alter the image, like blindfold? I'm what? still, cause like you have to see the image, the blindfold. Penguin, blindfold. Penguin, keep going. I just want to bring up there's a literal history of treating differently able people either as I know. Or fodder for experiments. Yeah. Yep. Let's, so like, let's not go there. As yes. Yeah. Abled, I do not like where you keep bringing this topic. <laughs> let's yep. just stop and go on to the next SCP, please. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway. Let's just stop. Yeah. Somebody else brings it up again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next SCP. Not going to be me. But... Yeah. SCP-271 is a small disc composition unknown but metallic in nature. A little more than 4 centimeters in diameter and engraved with a number of symbols that may or may not represent an unknown alphabet. These symbols are infectious to, to their environment over time gradually appearing as if invisibly carved into nearby objects. They are capable of escaping through any hole, however minute, but they but have been demonstrated to be able to penetrate non-gaseous -gas fluids. Objects that carry the symbols for a sufficient time begin to be changed on a molecular level to the same material as the SCP. Both the engraving and petrification processes are extremely painful to biotic organisms. The only known method for purging these symbols is the destruction of the object, and it is not possible to do this to SCP-271 itself. At this time, both SCP-271 and SCP-271-1 are thoroughly coated with, with engraved symbols and seem to swim slightly. Dr. VG and other observers have described them as looking like the far side of a heat wave, or not quite all there. The symbols also appear to have fractalized somewhat. Studies have vision-enhancing vision equipment have re revealed miniature symbols inside and around larger carvings on both objects. SCP-271 was a previously unknown SCP recently acquired from a shrine belonging to the Church of the Broken God by Mobile Task Force 12 when data expunged. It was previously stored in a room of its own, which documents note was to be kept sealed until the assembly was ready. Documents acquired at the, at the same time are such that data expunged. The platform is original on account of the extensive writing on the room in which it was contained. The shrine itself was pulverized, however, due to rapid retaliation by enemy forces. The remnants of MATF-12 was forced to data expunged. Contact has been re-established, but the nature of the SCP and the enemy seekers prevent ease, easy recovery, and it is currently considered m more advisable for the SCP to remain hidden, if comparatively unprotected, than to attract attention by launching a very expensive <coughs> recovery mission. MATF-12 has been ordered to con confirm itself into CU-12 and that's it. Hmm. 
I would like to apologize on my previous statements. No. I can apologize. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Uh, what the why fuck is you... Dr. BBG? Why didn't you do that when you when you right. made the statements? Because I wanted to sit, think right. of why it was really fucked up, so also, I can truthfully apologize. Also, before we start talking about the SCP, um, apparently, in one of the addendums, it doesn't really talk much about the SCP, but apparently, one of the agents is the name of my work. Who is Doctor BBG? Oh <laughs> I don't... Is that like an OC or some shit? Who are you talking about, <laughs> Dragon? The doctor that was mentioned, Dr. BBG. Who the fuck I is that? I said Dr. VG. Oh, v who the fuck is that, though? I don't know. <laughs> Point still stands. Who the fuck is it? Who is that person? Why are you more interested in the doctor than... <laughs> than the actual Because I was half itself. paying attention, and then I heard the do the name Dr. VG, and I'm like, hey, that's not a major name. Why would they specify that out and not, like, redact it <laughs> like they usually do? Some people it was like too out of place. doctor's names, even when they're not big doctors. Right. Fair point. Fair point. So, you know what? While you guys discuss it, you can t tell me what you think of it when I get back. But I have to take a piss. Okay. What was it? I don't remember what one, what it was. It was the SCP that everyone forgets about because it's forgettable. I'm fucking fixing a phone I have. The conversation totally died. Yep. <laughs> Turn. What? Oh, hi, 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 Rian. Anyway, I'm back. Welcome hey, back. Ryan. Are you trying to get me off this topic by getting me into chicken? Wait, what? I thought we were talking about the SCP what? here. What was no, the SCP? Food. Food it's a small disc. Like waving a picture of fried chicken at me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, the SCP is basically the disc, and it can. Infect the area around it with symbols. Oh, and apparently, and, and apparently can petrify peep organisms. Oh. But the thing is, you have to get near it. It doesn't seem to like to spread like like a virus. It's like a certain area. So like so, a case by case thing. In hmm? other words, it is the world's worst tattoo machine. <laughs> yeah. I also know ne absolutely nothing about this because pretty much right when the SCP started I went off to go to the bathroom without saying anything <coughs> well I basically described what it did oh and apparently the petrification is, in is incredibly painful <coughs> I mean so. I would bet like, they stated it even... was. Okay, wait, wait. how, like, major is the petrification? Is it, like, we talking, like, Medusa type of shit, or? Uh. Oh. It says that it will be changed in a molecular level. Hmm. Hmm. So the question is, does Medusa's gaze change the human body on a molecular level? Oh. It just changes it to stone. <laughs> but the, does so it like, change it on the manet? No, here's the one thing that I don't. I, here's the one thing I don't know. It's like it doesn't say that they fully die because there, like, there are some petrification like SCPs that keep you alive, but you're, but you're made out of something else. So we have no idea yeah. if if they're dead or alive. 
<laughs> that reminds me of this one movie I watched, and it was like, uh, it was a town, but all the people were made out of, uh, like, sculpted out of clay, but they were still alive. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, it's a horror What's movie. What's happening when you keep going off topic? Yeah, but... Well, it reminded me of that. So, like, if it was, if they're alive, or like... Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. state whether they're dead or alive. Which is horrifying. Honestly, that's a really I'm assuming scary. dead... Well, so, since they, since they told the MTF to like stay away, foundation would have specified it wasn't dead, since they tend to mention if something isn't dead but has become anom 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 anomalous, anomalous. Yeah. So I, I'm yeah. assuming they they're dead. It if it becomes an anomalous and is dead because it's no longer the living thing anymore, it's just that thing. Yeah, it's, it's most like they're most likely dead. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, only one to certain groups if it's not like actively trying to seek out people and turn them to stone no it's just like becoming an ocean of symbols in its own area just constantly moving and its own area and you use the symbols as a stoop if you want to die sure go ahead why, why why, do we let the child speak? <laughs> I, I think Penguin might have ADHD or boredom. I want... That's probably one of the most obvious things I've ever heard in my life. Wait, what was the other one? Or boredom. Sometimes kids with enough energy can seem like they have ADHD, but they're just hyper and better That's focusing. Fair. Well, I feel like all the information I retained about penguins, I think, might eliminate just the hyper one. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, it sound, like to me, it sounded like you hyper fixated on it. Yeah. Penguins. Which is to say, you experienced a very common symptom of ADHD. Also, the fact that caffeine doesn't really affect me. Like, the way okay, it should, okay. anyways. Yeah, that, yeah, that sounds, that sounds pretty ADHD to me. What the? F so we're thinking only one, since you, you literally have to go in its area to bother it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Oops. now the, this raises the question on who they have sent in. The only people that sent in was the MTF, and they were going to retrieve it, but told not to. So oh, it's still there. Yeah. Don't don't go near the Medusa tattoo parlor. Eh. Oh. That honestly sounds really badass, though. Like, if the, like, <laughs> the name of their tattoo place Medusa, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, this is a longer one. Anyway. SCP-274 is a paint of variable color. Buildings inflicted with SCP-274 appear to have large <clears throat> amounts of graffiti covering the sides of the building and often have large disturbing designs to them. While it consistently is that of normal paint, its composition reveals it to be 28% hemoglobin, 12% gastric acid, and 60% common components consistent within Ky Krylon's brand spray paint. When SCP-274 is applied to a wall, it will begin to spread until it has covered the wall and any walls attached to it. SCP-274 is unable to spread on metal, glass, and horizontal surfaces. While SCP-274 spreads on buildings, it will convert the interior of the wall into a large mesoglea, the interior walls into the gastrodermis, and the exterior walls act as a protective shell and the epidermis. Buildings coated entirely with SCP-274 will become cases of SCP-274-1. SCP-274-1 exhibits signs of life, react to stimuli and behave in a manner similar to many species of the Anthozoa class. Buildings converted into SCP-274-1 lower passing civilians by emanating noise from the inside of SCP-274-1. Sounds of glass breaking, loud coughing, or pained whipper, 
whimpers have been reported from D-Class personnel. It is currently unknown whether SCP-274-1 or the SCP-274-2s are responsible for his behavior as the noises stop immediately after entry. Typically, civilians will either call the police or investigate the noises themselves. As subjects search inside SCP-274-1, they will be recognized as food by instances of SCP-274-2, if any are present. When the victim enters a room inside SCP-274-1, bearing the entryway, they will immediately be suctioned into the gastrovacular cavity belonging to SCP-274-1, later processing them into SCP-274 in one instance of SCP-274-2. Specimens of SCP-274-2 are organisms, organisms composed of SCP-274 that appear as men or women wearing a gas mask or respirator along with a bright pastel-colored hoodie. SCP-274-2 is able to support its heavy weight by its thickness and density of its membrane, which consists of 45 to 50% of the mass of SCP-274-2. SCP-274-2 act as nematocyst for SCP-274-1 and can disguise themselves by merging into the walls. This is done by heavily compacting themselves and, and, plant, and planting itself into the interior wall, save for their mask which flattens around the wall and disguises itself as a standard graffiti. This behavior has proven to be a means of ambushing food for SCP-274-1 and will, and will only react when it detects something it considers a food source. SCP-274-2 possesses a, a hinged opercolum that injects SCP-274 located in their right hand. This opercolum looks identical to a normal spray can and can project SCP-274 in a similar manner. SCP-274-2 will attempt to spray SCP-274 into the eyes and mouth of his victims in an attempt to incapacitate and encapsulate them. This method of attack has shown to be very painful and will blind and numb the victim from the neck down. Once tagged, the victim is placed into the gastrovacular activity, I mean cavity, resulting in a new SCP-274-2. SCP-274-2 are able to duplicate themselves while inside an instance of SCP-274-1 and will produce one new SCP-274-2 every 24 hours. Once 12 SCP-274-2 specimens reside inside one of SCP-274-1, further cases of SCP-274-2 will leave SCP-274-1 and will find a new building to spray with, with SCP-274 while avoiding any people they may encounter. Once a building at least 2 kilometers away from, from another SCP-274-1 is found, the SCP-274-2 will spray the SCP-274 on the building until it's completely dehydrated itself of SCP-274 and dies, resulting in another instance of SCP-274-1. If left unchecked, it is estimated that SCP-274 could cover a large city within 20 days. So, real quick, um, could you read uh, the name of the class that they had mentioned of, like, biological creature that this thing mimics its behavior after? Uh, Anthosoa. <coughs> Do you need me to spell and... it? Uh, yes, please. A N T H O Z O A. Okay. Uh, let's see. Entozoa is a class of marine invertebrates, which includes. The sea anemones, stony corals, and soft corals. So that's what we're talking about. Okay. It seems to no be words. sort of intelligent. Can I 
seems like like a what one or something. If it bases its uh, how it acts off coral, then wouldn't that make it very calm but aggressive? Yeah. Well, they did say that like given the way that it creates those uh what are to be called coral spreading hippie taggers <laughs> that go out and spray people and things with it uh it did say that what did it take like 20 days to completely encapsulate a city yeah if left uncontained mm. it's a it's effectively a sea anemone that creates its own clownfish and those clownfish go out and make really bad graffiti on everything, and that makes more sea enemies. Mm hmm. <laughs> to, uh... This thing's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a keter. <laughs> Wait, is it, like, specified to be contained, or, like. It does not specify that it's contained. Oh dear. Okay, Jerry. What did Jerry say? They said they'll be right back. Oh, okay. Well, um, given, given you know, ev everything that we've been told about these absolute monstrosities, um, I mean, given the fact that it creates hippies on a whim, that's already a cause for concern. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> But besides, I'm gonna guess you I, don't I'm like gonna... hippies. Honestly, I don't. I'm completely indifferent. I'm just trying to make a boomer joke. Oh, oh my god. Okay, from what I know from like the hippie movement, a lot of them kind of suck because uh, are sucked because of like cultural appropriation. But like, how are, like a, a lot of it's... like especially boomers viewed hippies. They did not view the actual problems with hippies. <clears throat> they viewed that, oh, the, all these new people, uh, not new people, but the young people doing, yeah. Well, I think that's funny because most of the classic hippies were boomers. <laughs> For like starters. the boomers before yeah. boomers, you know? No, because boomers that's are not... so weird. The boom, do you mean the silent yeah. generation? Yeah. <laughs> they're they, called, they they're, they're, there's, a reason, there's a reason that they should be silent, honestly. Uh, what? I don't You're know. Talk <sighs> I, 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 old people, I don't know. Every, every conversation with you feels like a, a human centipede of stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so how I think is pretty much is when you, you, you know when you code a Pokemon game or mod a Pokemon game? Uh, you just put mm -hmm. all my dialogue in a randomizer, <clears throat> and then you go through Google Translate, like, in different five different languages, and then Google back to English, and that's everything that I say. Wait, what? what? <laughs> anyway. So, you you could take dialogue from a Pokemon game, you put it into Google Translate, translate it into five different languages, and then translate it back into English, and then that's the shit that I say. So... Mm -hmm. To clarify, uh, to my knowledge, while obviously like any any social movement, there's going to be problems. Mm -hmm. For the time, hippie movements were primarily very socially progressive, considering mm -hmm. the fact that they were primarily a direct reaction to the like, like especially like the like the first really big hippie waves. To my knowledge were primarily a reaction to the United States going into the Vietnam War and making it so that people uh, from the age of 18 could be drafted. But the voting age at that time was 21. In other words, That's a whole bunch weird. of... In other words, a whole bunch of teenage or like teenagers fresh out of high school were being drafted when they didn't even have the option to vote against going into this war yeah and that kind of just sparked a lot of social outrage among colleges and stuff that spiraled out into what we now call hippie culture I, I am by no mean an expert on this that's just my very basal understanding of it wait, wait, what that, I about hippies? because I know a lot about hippie history 
Ooh, can we go? Okay, can we go into <laughs> hippie history? No, hold on. <laughs> Why are we going through hippie history? We're talking about SCPs. Thing. But like, usually when they're talking shit about, it's like usually like not even like we, shit that they actually. We brought up. We brought up hippies because because Hatchet said that like the SCP created hippies. I made a dumb. I made a dumb boomer joke, saying that. The anemone created hippies to go out and tag things. And, and dragon took it out of hand. Like <laughs> and always. Then, and then dragon. Just mentioning, like, I don't know, some random shit that I know. Anyway. I'm playing Hades. I Should we? Hades. Hippies as a whole popped up in history specifically to both end murder by, by nukes and to end uh, racism. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, let's get back to what we were originally talking we about. Smoke pot. Can't forget smoking pot. We should probably get back to what we were originally talking go. about. Yeah, which is why I effectively described it as being like, while any social movement is going to have problems, they were by and large a very progressive social movement. Oh yeah, I wasn't really talking shit about them. I just, I just find it weird, like the people uh, that criticize them don't even like. Like, they have valid reasons and sometimes. Yeah. Anyway. They, criticize and they always go for, like, random shit. Since Jury's back, uh, now we can Jury. finally talk about the SCP. <laughs> Where to put it? I'm not back. I still haven't left to get uh, oh. the fried chicken. Oh, okay. No, Bright. You are not allowed to. You're not allowed to continue your show. <laughs> no, no. This, this is now the random bullshit podcast. Hosted by a child. And I have some the ability. John Frankel. I have the ability to mute both of you. <laughs> I don't think would say anything because I'm doing something else. So, uh, anyway. Um, you, you, you're not even saying anything, then you, like, continue to say shit. Yeah. <laughs> because I can still speak English, and would, that's the language anyway. that Bright speaks. And stuff. Hush. <laughs> it's like, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> that was completely I don't know what random. the fuck I'm saying. Konichiwa. The fuck are you on? That's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is Japanese. Right? Why did you just run? I'm pretty away? sure that's a. Is that a poor, like, saying? Way of saying it? I don't know. A young is Uh, That was a poor way of saying that. That this... was a poor way of I learned how to say it from Markiplier. <laughs> yeah, that's your first mistake. Is it Markiplier Korean? Yes, that's Korean for hello. <laughs> oh, it was Korean for hello. We don't know anything. Well, I don't know anything. It's still All probably a bad pronunciation. Reason... Yeah, probably. All I know is for some reason, apparently, like, there's been a boom of people on TikTok that think Mark is white, even though... He's mixed. Yeah. All right. So I don't know how to fuck that. On with the SCP, please. Anyway, building an enemy. Uh, content. I'd say. I feel like if it could get big enough, it could be also like world. But it's. I'm like, pretty sure like the foundation's gonna wild. stop it at that point. Well, yeah. Like, like if it actually manages to get through a city, that's an incredibly. Uh abnormal situation but it could go through the... florida fair but the reason why oh, i say yeah. continent they probably wouldn't care about florida <laughs> well the reason i say continent is let's say that this thing just wipes out let's say los angeles right mm -hmm. i doubt that it's... do you have something against los angeles Hold... it's just the first city it's... i thought of it's dragon hush <laughs> just hush Okay, say it wipes out Los Angeles, okay? What then ends up happening is it doesn't seem like these things would have the know-how to cross water through boats or planes, so its only options are to go by land, like any other thing. As such, it's going to spread to highly densely populated buildings and places in the immediate vicinity. Which would then probably wipe out the entire west coast of America. But 
it doesn't seem like it would move terribly quickly. And as such, it wouldn't move quick enough to uh, cross... Like, it doesn't have the means to cross continental boundaries that aren't land touching each other. Fair point. Yeah. So, I say continent as the worst case scenario. Actually, this reminds me of something. What would happen if, like, the SCP Foundation and the Magnus Archives had a collaboration? Because they're kind of similar in how they work. The fuck is the Magnus Archives? Okay, so pretty much, but the difference with the Magnus Archives is it's an archive, so they take in reports from people about different things, but they all, it turns out, like, all these things are, like, uh, uh, connected to, like, entities from a different realm. Hmm. The Magnus Archives is really good. It has some problems, but it's it's good. But interesting. Anyway, like, yeah. yeah. And then the, the head archivist is Jonathan Sims, and he, he gets looped up with all the shit. It's. I need to finish listening to it. No podcast. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. We didn't even. Oh yeah, we did. Never mind. <laughs> Did you already forget placing the thing? Anyway, <laughs> next SCP. SCP. Bryce, like, yeah. Bryce, like I, 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 I won't, I won't admit to that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. SCP-280 is a black human-shaped mass with two large white eyes on it on the head and two hands with very long and thin fingers. No feet or legs are visible as the lower portion of the body appears to fade away several centimeters from the ground. SCP-280 appears to be wholly composed of matter that can gain or lose corporeal form. This matter is very black, with only the eyes showing any other color, and when changing into a non-corporeal form, it looks much like smoke. Very black. Hush. The eyes... <laughs> shadow being anyway <laughs> the eyes are non-functioning and appear only when scb-280 is retreating appearing to be used like eye spots on some insects scb-280 is very strong and has been observed pulling apart steel with its hands showing no signs of stress scb-280 moves with a gliding motion with its hands extended described as a sleepwalker pose by observers SCP-280 will move slowly towards any human beings and attempt to attack them. SCP-280 appears to sense human life. No limit has yet been found on this ability. SCP-280 will approach to within 14 centimeters of the subject and then use its hands to pull and tear at the subject causing massive physical trauma. The attack can last between 1 and 5 minutes and will continue until the death of the subject at which point SCP-280 will expose its eyes, lose corporal form, and move to the next human. If no humans are present, SCP-280 will move and ball up against a wall or other structure until a human being is again present. Hmm. SCP-280 will retreat slowly from light, exposing its eyes in the direction of the light or at any nearby humans. It has been described as extremely disconcerting by those who have been stared at. If the area that SV-280 currently resides in becomes fully illuminated or there is very bright bursts of light, SCP-280 will fade away and reappear in another area. This appears to be done purely as a defensive response to light and will not be used to follow or attack prey. SV-280 does not appear to eat, breathe, or sleep. It does not ingest any of the tissue removed during an attack and simply does, uh, drops it to tear a new piece. Due to its ability to become incorporeal at will and its aggressive nature, no samples of SCP-280 have been collected. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. So, so it's just a murderer. It's the shadow murderer. <laughs> I'd yeah. say groups of people. 
Because this thing is too slow to destroy a city. <laughs> it would probably, like, get caught before it can, like, actually do any Ang major damage. Angry shadow being. Is the shadow being cute? What the fuck, dragon? <laughs> what? Can the shadow being give a kiss kiss? Is it kissable? I don't have- I have not been given an answer. I'm- Cause just... no one's going to answer it. Exactly. <laughs> I wonder why no one gave you an answer. Because we're ignoring you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright. Now I gotta pull up this LCP. Alright. Alright. SCP-293 is currently held in to be some form of intangible force or presence. Questions have been raised regarding a possible intelligence behind SCP-293 in light of subjects' reactions. However, these are still unfounded. SCP-293 is most visible in its effect on human behavior, and is only detectable in very advanced cases as a very slight auditory disturbance. This lack of presence forms the major issue with SCP-293 detection as it is almost impossible to detect if items or people are infected by SCP-293 without long-term observation. SCP-293 bonds to physical items, in most ca cases small lightweight items. However, large items such as cars, trees, and, in one case, a two-story residential home are not unknown. SCP-293 will spread to new items if they are left in close proximity for several weeks. SCP-293 does not appear to bond living things, and, it, and its effect is only visible in humans. It is unknown how SCP-293 spreads to new items or what the criteria are for an item to be bonded. However, there appears to be a higher probability of bonding for items that can be easily carried, transported in a human hand. SCP-293 causes those affected by it to become progressively obsessed, obsessed with the item it is bonded to. This process appears to be accelerated by observation and physical contact with the item affected by SCP-293. Subjects will rapidly become withdrawn and antisocial and react violently to anyone attempting to touch or remove the item. Subjects' actions toward the bonded item will begin to take on parental aspects in 78% of the cases, with the subject rocking, cleaning, and attending to the object as if it was, if it were not an inanimate object. Attempts to interrupt these rituals or bring attention to the inappropriateness of this behavior will cause the subject to enter an extreme state of fear, depression, or anger, which persists in an extended period of time. In many cases, the obsession and ritual cycle of SCP-293 will grow to the point where a subject is unable to function normally, needing constant contact with SCP-293 bonded item. Subjects will show a marked and progressive impairment of performance in simple tasks such as preparing food, engaging in personal hygiene, or sleeping. In the 22% of cases with non-parental attachment with SCP-293, Subjects may also begin to engage in personal abuse and damage, believing they are being ordered to do so. Mental and physical de degradation in both cases are often directly related to cause of death. Attempting to remove the item from the subject will cause the subject to enter a violent, fearful, depressed, hysterical, or one of many other mental states. These episodes are nearly impossible to end except by the return of the item or several months of separation. Subjects will become more and more erratic and hysterical the longer they are separated and will violently attack others or reacquired item. Subjects will often commit suicide after several days of separation from or loss of the, the SCP-293 affected item. 
The Foundation currently has 182 items affected by SV-293 in storage. It is unknown at this time how many items worldwide may be affected by SV-293, and questions have been raised as if SV-293 and its possible re relationship to several other SV items and the exploits of several serial murders. In other words, if this SCP was to primarily focus upon anime merchandise, <laughs> this SCP would generate weeaboos. Ah. The we not the weebs. Anything but the weebs. Yes, the weebs. No. Wait, I'll, I'll be Look, right you back. can like anime. Hold. There's a difference from enjoying anime and being a weeb. There's like a big thick line. Yeah, we all, we all, <sighs> we all get that. That's that's the joke. The the, the joke is. Uh, look, you gotta specify. Will you not? How long is it going to take for you old folks to realize that I got some fucked up in the head? <laughs> oh, that was already <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Wait, were you just not paying attention to what the SCP was? <laughs> eh? I, was I was specifically making a joke because this SCP makes people act in their own physical disinterest if it's bonded oh. to something <laughs> oh okay that makes more sense so that was the joke the, the joke was if this attached itself to say a miku body pillow then Not that person miku. would then that thing then that person would immediately become a miku weeb all right i'm back it manufactures i feel like a lot of people oh forget God. miku is a is a teenager like sixteen ish. Okay, then um People uh, forget that all the time. It's like, oh. Uh that one lady from that one at, okay, Lust from uh Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll go with Lust for uh, a I Lust body love pillow. I love her. Yeah. She's very cool. Anyway, so what do you guys think? I mean this thing is intelligent. Continent? Nah, it's... Country? I've... Solid country. Like, like, Please. if it... Certain group. If it, Let's say certain group. Yeah, like, if it's... Like, it doesn't seem to move quickly. It's just that it causes problems when it attaches to something because a certain amount of people will become... Uh, mm -hmm socially reclusive parents to their me to their body pillows yeah wait no wait one issue though what if like the person that gets infected is like the u.s president then like, things wouldn't the then things wouldn't change very much given the last guy that was in there <laughs> <laughs> are you insinuating that donald j trump had a body pillow of some anime woman wouldn't surprise me. I mean, no, he, he is, a... but he's literally the color of Cheetos. So, listen, like, he, listen, he had a body pillow of Putin. <laughs> no, no, no. Because actually, a uh, fun fact about Putin is he apparently despises Ooh. being viewed as weak and old. So he'll commonly take like pictures shirtless to prove how like buff and shit it is he is, and like how strong yeah, he is. Yeah, he's he's a fascist. He's doing things that fascists tend to do, like being yeah. insecure. Yeah. He has uh, big boobs. Putin has big bo boobs. <laughs> we're gonna have fun with the next one because it's a joke, SCP. Oh dear. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get nail polish. One moment. Is it anything like that other joke, SCP, that we decided could end humanity? <laughs> oh my oh, no. gosh. This one also has been changed recently to neutralized. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. All right. I got nail polish. Anyway. SCP-294-J is an aquatic micro-civilization located with 
or then a styrofoam cup of black coffee found in Site-19's break room. SCP-294-J is inhabited by a microscopic race of bipedal creatures, which display rapid developing intelligence and understanding of social structure. Hmm. Someone drank it, didn't they? Uh, Wouldn't that just be like... Apparently they decided to idealize a utopian society. Oh, that's kind of sweet. So they're sea monkeys. Yep, uh, Dr. Full drank it. Oh. Why, why is this a keter? <laughs> I mean, it is like a little science society. Now. You made this a keter club. I mean, it is SCP. I mean, it is a joke SCP, but, like, even then, like, generally speaking, joke SCPs will still follow some level of logic. Like, that joke SCP that we decided could destroy the world oh, reality. was a Keter class. <laughs> yeah, yeah, XK. Oh, yeah. yeah, like, like it, it was a Keter class for a reason, because it's completely uncontainable. This is just a tiny society in a cup. <laughs> That that's so easily containable. Why was this Keter class? And second, why did they not make it clear that there was a tiny utopian society in this cup so that someone didn't drink it? Oh, actually, thinking about it, that reminds me of this. Uh, okay, so never mind. It's dumb. Never mind. Anyway, obviously neutralized, but I'm just I, I fear for our society. I fear for the SCP society. I feel I fear for your mental well-being. Oh, uh, this well, this is going to well, be a weird one. Oh. Well, you see, child, if if you, if you actually cared about that, you would just stop talking. That would no. that would help a lot. No. So, you want to hear this is going to be an interesting SCP to read. You know why? Ah. Uh. It says, is it racist? It's, no. It says, <laughs> object class, primary object classification, safe. Secondary object classification, safe, you click Keter. What? The fuck? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just really wanted my... I, I, the, I just really wanted my <laughs> SCP to be everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Here, here's what the SCP is. Do any of y'all know what a Mary Sue is? It's pretty much just that. Oh Mary my Sue. gosh. Mary Sue SCP. It's gonna marry some r random anime boy. Oh my god. Let's just find out what it is. <laughs> gonna fight. Actually, no, Goku isn't that difficult to fight. I can name like five different anime characters off the top of my head that could beat Goku easily. Anyway. <laughs> Description. Upon examination of the blast cr crater of SCP-296... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure, like, either... So, like, since Pika's watching this, I'm pretty sure either Pika's gonna agree with you or gonna curse you. <laughs> anyway. I wanna see what Pika does. Anyway, with SCP-296, upon examination of the blast crater... Occupying ACS 03's previous location, a stone channel was discovered in the crater's geometric center. The stone is of an unknown composition and was utterly unaffected by the detonations of the fail safe devices utilized by emergency protocol XT redacted. It is unknown whether the structure designated SB 296 existed prior to the annihilation of ACS. S 03's previous installations. However, the contents of SCP 296 interior suggest it was somehow created in the explosion. From the exterior, SCP 296 entry channel appears to be simply be a set of carved, fitted stones arranged around a vertical rectangular shaft. They extend into the ground for several feet before light simply ceases to penetrate and it enters into darkness. Initial attempts to investigate followed a standard procedure using Class D personnel. Each maintained contact for a few moments before failing to report back. After several personnel were lost in this manner, robotic surveillance was initiated and revealed the presence of an, of an amph 
fifth theater type structure which around which were seated 56 figures of similar appearance each was roughly humanoid and made out of substance similar at first glance to ice thermal scans indicated a variety of temperatures varying from figure to figure and most did not confirm the temperatures low enough to support solidification of water surveillance also discovered the remains of the class d personnel the deceased exhibited the following characteristics personnel a was found uh, beside a figure with central wounds extending through her skull one each surrounding the previous location of each eye socket one passing laterally through the skull and existing uh, existing the ears and all associated organs one ex existing the nose one ex existing the mouth such a skin has also been removed whole and rested beside the corpse along with the cylinders of bone flesh and visca that have been removed from her skull which rested atop the skin wounds confirmed to match those affected by euclid class scp redacted confirmed to have been present at, at acs-03 initial installations annihilation personal b was found collapsed on the ground beside a second figure with what initially appeared to be total destruction of his skeletal system autopsy later revealed the complete liquefaction of all the interior body systems damage confirmed to match those inflicted by Yuku class scp redacted also confirmed to have been present at acs-03 during the enactment of emergency protocol xt redacted personal c through g were found beside a third figure all five personnel occupied roughly at the same space at different angles still technically collectively alive the resulting recombinant creature was quite obviously both insane and irreparably crippled and was later terminated on site. Analysis of records re retaining to clear Keter class SCP redacted indicated conformity to exposure to its exponential recombination effect. SCP redacted was also confirmed to have been contained within ACS-03 at the time of annihilation. Surveillance was forcefully terminated before further information could be gathered. The final image tra transferred by the robot was that of the figure beside the still active form of personal C through G, scattering in the form of SCP redacted, appearing amidst its debris. 76 Class D personnel, 23 agents, and 5 researchers were lost before sufficient information regarding SCP redacted could be dispatched to allow for a forceful initiation of its hibernation cycle. SCP Redactin has since been relocated to Armed Biocontainment Area 14 and subjected to containment and following with, with its original procedures. No further attempts to investigate SCP-296 have been made as of this time. Proposals for controlled systematic testing for each figure has been suggested by Dr. Redacted, but have been denied on the grounds that the risk of releasing SCP Redacted, although its presence within amphitheater has yet to be confirmed is too great and there you go so bright bright are yeah. you um are you all right yeah see i asked this because if i had a nickel for every word you mispronounced in that scp reading I'd have at least three dollars. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's some words I don't know, so I try to sound it out. Oh, you? No, no, no. I'm not trying to be that mean, but I'm just saying. Like, I was I'm actually con. Oh, sorry. I, I was actually kind of concerned because you were mispronouncing words that you normally say easily, like yeah. uh, exit. <clears throat> I heard you say exit as exis a million times. That I was genuinely concerned. Oh, well, what are you talking? Uh, it's wait, are you talking about excising or whatever? It's like E X C I S I N G. Okay, excising. Yeah. But earlier, <clears throat> earlier in the article, there was parts that talked about exiting. Oh. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just stupid. That's also a that's also a very high probability. Fair enough. 
I didn't yeah. say that anyone could be Goku. I mean, I said that I know a few anime characters that could easily beat Goku. <laughs> I immediately go back to this. Anyway, what do you guys think? I mean, actually, let me just be entirely frank. I um. But you are frank. Shut. Your stupid <laughs> little gay mouth. My goal. Yeah, shut up, <laughs> dragon. Shut up. My uh, um, I did not process much of any of the information because I was so focused on mispronunciations. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you. So that one's on me. I have no idea how dangerous this thing is. Because I but just... what it sounds like, they, it looks like they removed everything except for statues. So, certain group? If not well, city. Like, push, I guess, city's pushing it. I guess I'm just interested because it's talking about how it's too dangerous to be experimented on. So that implies that it's still a danger. Yeah. Like, how many people have been killed by the 3D glasses, but they keep experimenting with it? Right. What are the 3D glasses? Uh, they, they are, uh, like a pair of old-fashioned 3D glasses that when you put them on, you can see these gigantic monsters around you. And if you, uh, try to interact with said monsters in any way, they will fucking tear you apart. What are 3D glasses? Shut up, Dragon. <laughs> what? I'm joking, Did I know you... what they are. Okay, I, I was about to say. I was about to say. I was you... trying to make you feel old. I don't need to feel old in that situation, considering the fact that you're, like, what, two years, well, four years younger than me. You are around for glasses. I don't know. Anyway, this... I'm... I'm exasperated. I live Trying in a to... utopia state called Florida. We don't have glasses here. We have alligators. Alligators, you see, replace right. your eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> see, you see, you can tell it's a... You can tell it's a utopia because... Uh... How can you tell it's a utopia? <laughs> uh, it's not. I mean, the uh, Don't Say Gay Bill was just recently passed, so yeah, most definitely not a utopia. Uh, we're scared of the gay word. So, wait, where are we putting this? <laughs> I don't know. Certain I group, know. I wasn't yeah, paying enough group. attention. Yeah, certain probably. Group, so. city. Certain groups is city, potentially, so. Yeah. I was, I was... My brain decided to fixate on mispronunciations instead of the actual content of what was being said. Go fuck yourself. I do not apologize for my brain doing what it does. My brain is like a cat. I like it. Sometimes it comes up to me and does things I like, but other times... It just completely decides to fuck over my li entire life. Oh, yeah. Though, sadly, for the next SCP, it's going to be super long, so hang in with me. Oh, dear. SCP-299 is an ambiform mechanism. Can uh, not mechanism. Organism. I don't, I don't know why I combined those two words. <laughs> mechanism right. and organism were the same thing. <laughs> Are you having a stroke? No. Should we call? <laughs> should we call an ambulance, or is that too expensive? Shut does up. Does anyone? Ha does anyone it's too have? Expensive. Oh, that's right. Uh, does anyone have the means to ship right to Canada and then get them help? Shut up. <laughs> anyway. And then call her an ambulance. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, get get her. Just get her across the border, and then call the ambulance. <laughs> Anyway. Would it be cheaper? To, like, wait, does does Mexico have free healthcare? No. Uh, well, I well they, they have a very they have an incredibly inefficient system of socialized healthcare. Yeah. 
Mexico anyway. is de- has just been fucked over by a lot of things, hasn't it? Yeah, like the, like the main reason why it's not that efficient is because of how poor the country is. Yeah, also. Thanks to particular agents in the matter. America, <coughs> the U.S., Canada, La- existence. Anyway, back to the SCP. SCP-299 is an ampiform organism characterized by a black, sharp pointing branches. Closer inspection reveals that each su- instance of SCP-299 is connected to neighboring trees by its roots. Prolonged contact converts these neighboring trees into other instances of SCP-299. This is SCP-299's only method of reproduction. And there you are, so that's the end of the SCP, of the de- description. Oh. You said this This was a really long one. I know, I I'm an asshole. I think that's supposed to be sarcasm. Yeah. The, uh. no, the issue with this voice chat is I don't think any of us understands, like, vocal tones. I, and none I of think us are it's... good at giving different, like, tones of voice, either. Oh, oh, no, I feel, I, that's the thing, I feel like I'm fairly good at picking up on vocal tones. Bright's just bad. Fuck you. Bright's yeah. just bad at speaking. Yeah. Which is funny, because this is a series entirely based upon primarily Bright speaking, and then us mocking Bright for speaking. Apparently, humans you know, have I not been... That's... Humans have not been tested. I think that's but... just not all bright streams. True. But anyway, um... back any anyway, back to the virus tree. But the, uh... but it can infect uh living organisms. It just it has not been tested on humans. It's only gone as far as a pig. Right? Or technoblade. From the very description it could infect living organisms because trees are living organisms. Well, Do you I mean meant, animals? I meant humans, yes. Animals. Okay. Yes, Are you certain you're alright? Go fuck yourself. No, no, no. It, she's just an old lady, okay? It's fine. I hate you. I don't know. I'm starting to be convinced of that. Wait, hold on. Uh, Dragon. Pika says, well, Dragon is dumb and hasn't actually watched the show. Plus, I don't care what Dragon thinks. I That's know, fair. Like, Sailor Moon could easily beat Goku. <laughs> that's, not, that's not my personal opinion. That's like a fact. You say that, but one, have you actually seen the show and understand all of Goku's abilities? Two, how are you basing this? Just saying that's a fact is not an argument? Am I talking to a reactionary? <laughs> Let's say, hypothetically. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, this thing doesn't seem too dangerous. So as long as you keep it from spreading to too many trees, you're probably fine. So maybe just certain groups. Certain groups. The Lorax would be very sad. Yeah, the Lorax would have a have a beef with this thing. <laughs> well, technically, it's just a tree turning into other trees. So maybe the Lorax would be chill with it. Lorax and his many tree children. What? Hey, excuse <laughs> me, what? The... I'm no, very... I'm not, I'm not I... even going to I am very certain that's not how that works. You didn't <laughs> watch... <laughs> anyway... Oh, of the Lorax where the Lorax gives birth to trees. I don't <laughs> the think... Lorax, it's a sapling! <laughs> Lorax and Brick. You've never seen Lorax and Brick. Dragon, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that much. Shut up. Yes, shut up, Dragon. It's funny. Anyway, what let's go. What the fuck go. is wrong why with you, do... Dragon? I will, I, I will again ask, why do we let the child speak? <laughs> Anyway, I let's... was given unrestricted internet at a, at a very young age, as you can tell. Maybe, Jerry, I don't know. What did Jerry Are you say? Saying thing? Oh, oh, <laughs> I read that wrong, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> Jerry said, What am I listening to as I get ready? <laughs> um, 
you're listening to uh, let's just be frank you're listening to any given day on this server yeah, yeah this is pretty normal actually thinking about so it. This we talk is we be... talk oh oh sorry just just real quick we talk about scps dragon says some fuck shit that dragon's not supposed to say <laughs> because they're a child then we all guffaw at dragon being weird and then probably go hang out in 18 plus chat and tell dirty jokes until it's like midnight. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this will be the final SCP for tonight, and it actually is a bit of a long one. I'm not being sarcastic or being an ass this time. Oh, mm. uh, wait. Uh, all right, I'll say this, Pika, since you asked. Uh, Pika says, Well, that's great, Dragon, but your thoughts and views mean very little to me. Pika hate me so much. Not, not Wonder surprising. why. Yeah. Anyway, on to the final SCB of the night. Why Why would someone have a reason to dislike you? <laughs> huh? Hi. Anyway. Call, call Pika old. <laughs> anyway, for the final SCB of the night, SCP-306 is a fungus re related to the genius... Uh, Trichophyton. I'm hoping I said that right. Uh, SCP-306... I'm not gonna... I, huh? I'm not gonna mock you for mispronouncing scientific names, okay? Alright. <laughs> SCP-306 can infect humans uh, through inhalation of spores or by skin-to-skin -skin contact. Initial symptoms of infection can include coughing and sneeze, sneezing and skin uh, li license. License causing... Uh, caused by SCP-306 display a morphology similar to benign filamus, or also known as warts, and reach full size after approximately two days. Oh, I have warts. This makes me very uncomfortable. License. Also, I'm yeah. also I'm pretty sure it's pronounced lesions. Oh, lesions. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Anyway. Lesions are prone to shedding, after which another lesion forms underneath. Lesions that fall from the body of infected subjects are light enough to be carried by wind and capable of spreading SCP-306 for years. If untreated, lesions caused by SCP-306 can cover the body within two weeks. SCP-306 have been shown to grow in nearly all biological matter. SCP-306 primarily anomalous property will only manifest when growing on human tissue. When infecting a human, SCP-306 secretes several previously unknown enzymes. These uh, enzymes catalyze an unknown process which drastically alters the structure of cells, resulting in the formation of several extra organelles of an indeterminate function. Approximately two weeks following infection, infected su subjects begin to develop major uh, psychological uh, psych psych modifications over the, yeah. over the course of the next three weeks. Subjects rapidly lose weight, followed by the de development of abnormal pigmentation and increased water perme permeability of the skin. Subjects who are still able to speak describe being in constant, excruciating pain over the next two to five months. Symptoms include shrinkage of organ systems, reshaping of the skeletal system, and rapid decrease in intellect. This process can last between two to and five months, after which subjects are referred to as SP-306-1. Instances of SCP-306-1 on average weigh 25 to 30 kilograms, measuring 0 0.5 meters. I mean, yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meters in length. And SCP-306-1 have an appearance similar to amphib amphibians, but correspond to no known species. Autopsies of deceased SCP-306-1 specimens have revealed that the internal structures remain morphologically Morph morphologically similar to human organs following the metamorphosis. Instances appear to enjoy human presence and actively attempt to gain contact when in human presence. 
SCP-306-1 remained extremely infectious with any direct physical contact, resulting in infection by SCP-306. SCP-306-1 are capable of reproduction in a similar manner to uh, Agalichinus calidrius. SCP-306 was discovered in Redacted, Louisiana, in an in a swampy area when locals reported a col colony of unknown amphibious creatures coupled with a string of unexplained disappearances. Foundation agents were deployed to the scene to investigate, leading to the object's discovery. Since this event, redacted additional SCP-306 outbreaks have been found in the southeastern United States. SCP-306 is resistant to nearly all treatment with the exception of high heat. Colorization of infected tissue has shown modest success in treating cutaneous infection. However, respiratory infection is not treatable. And that's it. Okay, so to recap, this is a fungus infection, fungal infection, that is native to the southern states oh. that will turn people into super friendly frogs. That will then spread the disease further. Actually, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't mind be, uh, being turned into a friendly frog. You won't know what's happening because you have drastically decreased intellect. Yeah, that's just how I am normally, but I'm not a friendly frog. Fair. Anyway, <laughs> the point being, um, a the fact that this keeps showing up in southwestern united states the place the place in the u.s that has the highest capacity of anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. that this is inherently more dangerous than if it was popping up other places i would say probably country given how quickly this shit spreads yeah I just find it funny that it turns people into frogs. <laughs> it, it turns people into really friendly frogs. frogs. Which, I mean, as a side note, is an inge like an ingenious evolutionary advantage. For it's this better fungus. than being turned into a crustacean. Well, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Specifically a crab, which happens really frequently. <laughs>